Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. The coconut crab is classified by scientists as a hermit crab and is the largest land living and tree climbing crab in the world. Please continue watching to find out more. What a way ye means hello in Pitcairn. I am Ian, a vegan coconut crab from Adamstown in the South Pacific's scenic Pitcairn Islands, the world's least populated jurisdiction. The animals and people of the Pitcairn Islands wish you heaven's blessings. Welcome to our show entitled the diverse and adaptable tree climbing crabs. We crabs come in all different sizes and colors with other diverse characteristics and have been known to survive in all sorts of living environments. In the world of crabs, the biggest is the Japanese spider crab and the smallest on earth is the pea crab. Tree climbing crabs, like me, are often found on land or the forest, far from sea. Other crabs live in the ocean, like blue crabs, or in sandy burrows near the sea. Sally Lightfoot crabs, also known as red rock crabs, live on rocky shores. Crabs that climb trees are so diverse, it would probably take humans years and years to discover us all. First, about me, the coconut crab is classified scientifically in the Decapoda order and the subphylum of Crustacea. Like all crabs, we generally have five pairs of legs, a thick shell or exoskeleton, no backbone, and two eyes located on the end of stalks. The coconut crab is classified by your scientists as a hermit crab and is the largest land living and tree climbing crab in the world. Our habitat ranges from coconut palm areas across the Indian Ocean, parts of the Pacific Ocean as far east as the Gambia Islands, and my hometown, the Pitcairn Islands. Pitcairn Island is the only inhabited one of the four isles. Adamstown is the capital and also the only settlement. We usually live in sand burrows we dig ourselves. An adult coconut crab can weigh around four kilograms and is about 100 centimeters long from leg tip to leg tip. Normally, our lifespan is between 30 and 60 years. Fully grown coconut crabs vary in color from light violet to brown to deep purple. Some even have black stripes on their legs. Our diet is mainly fresh fruit like coconuts. Of course, nuts, seeds, and the pith of fallen trees. We use our two massive front claws to open hard-shelled fruits and also for self-defense. The next three pairs of legs are for walking and climbing trees. We are able to climb up as high as six meters quite easily. Our two smallest pairs of legs are used to clean our breathing organs. One amazing thing is that even though we live on land, mother coconut crabs will travel to the ocean to lay their eggs. After the eggs hatch, the young float in the sea for about a month, then go into a post-larval stage. During these early forms, coconut crabs have the ability to breathe and live under the water. Later, we go to the ocean floor to find a gastropod shell and come to the seashore. A unique organ that combines elements of gills and lungs is formed at this stage, meaning that from here on in, we can only breathe oxygen from the air, not the water. Young coconut crabs are clever at using other animal shells like snail shells or even cracked coconut shells to protect their soft and vulnerable abdomens. As they grow, they look for bigger shells to replace the smaller ones. However, when they reach adulthood, they will stop carrying shells around because their abdomens have become harder and stronger. We all have to grow up sometime. Now, 
Let me introduce you to some of my tree climbing crab friends of other varieties. The Caribbean Hermit Crab, also known as a soldier crab, West Atlantic crab, tree crab, or purple pincher, is found in the Caribbean sea region, including Bermuda and the West Indies. They are also in places like Florida, USA, and Venezuela, among others. Caribbean hermit crabs have a lot in common with coconut crabs. For example, they live on land and females go to the ocean to lay eggs. Every summer, thousands of them will migrate together from the forest to the seashore and then back again. Also, they have to carry a shell all the time to protect their soft bodies. They often burrow and live under the roots of large trees. Their diet includes plant debris, leaves and fruits. Young Caribbean hermit crabs are often a greyish colour that changes when they grow up to a reddish overall appearance with purple claws. Their left claw is bigger than the right. The large claw is for self-protection and the small one for feeding. Noble viewers, we'll pause now for an informative message and then return. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to our program, the diverse and adaptable tree climbing crabs on Supreme Master Television. Another kind of tree climbing crab the one that lives in mangroves. Mangroves are the perfect environment for such crabs to live in and develop. Let's start with Singapore's mangroves, which are along the nation's north coast and are home to different types of tree climbing crabs. One variety commonly seen have flat bodies and pointed legs with different colored pincers. The Singapore tree climbing crabs have red pincers, violet tree climbing crabs have purple and white pincers, and pink tree climbing crabs have red and white pincers. In the daytime, these crabs of the Episasama genus stay in trees just above the waterline during high tide, and at nighttime, they eat fallen leaves from the ground or may climb up to six meters high in a tree to consume fresh ones. Episasama crabs are in other Southeast Asian countries like Malaysia, the Philippines, and Thailand, to name a few. Next, let us explore a little bit the mangrove areas in the tropical and subtropical parts of the Americas. In that part of the world, the mangrove tree crab is very small, only around two centimeters long. Their brown and olive coloring helps with camouflage and their main diet is the leaf of the mangrove tree. One common characteristic shared between all tree climbing crabs in mangrove areas is that they do not live far from the sea. They live on mangroves, climb up the trees above the water level to find food and in the breeding season, lay their eggs in the ocean Let's move to the Quirimbus Islands, located in the Indian Ocean off northeastern Mozambique. The two main mangrove tree climbing crabs here are Cavipes hermit crabs and tawny hermit crabs. Being of the hermit crab variety, they need to carry a seashell with them for hiding and protection. The Cavipes hermit crab can be found in various shades of brown with large pincers featuring a lighter color. They have black compressed eye stalks with round pointed eyes. On the other hand, the tawny hermit crab comes in a wider variety of colors such as cream, purple, brown, bluish gray, dark blue, dark brown, and reddish orange with granules over the whole body. Their eye stalks are compressed in a shape and are white or yellow brown in color. 
The world of tree climbing crabs is so vast and diverse that scientists have discovered several new species only recently. The Kani Maranjandu crab was newly identified in 2017 and they are active only in the forests of the Western Ghats in South India. The bodies of Kani Maranjandu crabs are a deep black color and they have extremely long legs. They are observed to live in tree holes high above the ground. Professor Peter Ng Ki Lin, a National University of Singapore biologist said, the exciting thing for me is that these crabs, regardless of where they have been found and how they are related or unrelated to each other, they have nevertheless evolved to use specialized habitats to enhance their survival. In this case, tree holes and climbing. The Haberma tingcock, also found in 2017, is a mangrove climbing micro crab native to Hong Kong. These crabs are tiny, less than a centimeter long, and are predominantly dark brown, with a squarish carapace and orange claws. We tree climbing crabs truly cherish our lives and plead with humans to have compassion, never eat us or other animals, and protect our habitats. May all beings live in harmony with Mother Earth. Wonderful viewers, thank you for joining us today for our program. May your days be filled with God's love. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash aw. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com baroblique schedule et suprememastertv.com baroblique aw. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule y suprememastertv.com barra inclinada aw. Наши программы предлагают много языков. Пожалуйста, посмотрите suprememastertv.com касачерта schedule и suprememastertv.com касачерта ew.